For this supine positional isometric uh, for hip extension or that quality of lifting your hips off the ground, you're going to plant your feet so that you can bend your toes up against a wall. We're using this box so you can see what we're up to. Um, get good contact with the heels on the floor, feet about hip joints distance apart to help us recruit as much of that hamstring tissue as we can. Starting with your knees at a medium bend will be your most beginner option. You're going to press into your feet, find your hamstring stuff, find your glute stuff, and extend the hips up. It can help sometimes to curl your tailbone towards the ceiling to really recruit more of that tissue. Hold that glute squeeze and glute contraction. And then first, start to push your feet going nowhere into the wall as though you're trying to straighten your knee and straighten your leg without letting the hips drop. The goal here is to feel some contraction along the front side and then switch that smoothly to super gluing your feet to the floor and dragging your heels towards your butt such that you feel more contraction in the underneath side of the leg and then you can come on down and we'll specify how long, how many reps to hold those contractions. Progress this by scooting your hips further away from the box. That more lengthened position is gonna be harder to find your contraction. So as you're ready, you can do that. Pressing into the floor, lifting up. Again, as you start to push into the box, really anchor your upper body to the floor. The goal is not to slide yourself away, but just to get a nice isometric contraction along the front. And then second contraction, heels dig into the ground, try to drag the floor towards your butt, drag your butt towards the floor, and then you can lower back down. Nice. The last progression, which is gonna really make this a spicy noodle, <laughs> is to um, find your bridge. So same principles apply, heavy upper body, lift those hips, squeeze your glutes, heavy feet, dragging the heels towards you. So we're in that second contraction. Now shift as much of your body weight as you can into one leg, such that perhaps you could make the other foot light or maybe even lift it without dropping or rotating your pelvis. You can return that back down, get heavy in the new foot, really ramp up a contraction in the back of thigh stuff, and then you can bring that other leg just into lightness or into a full lift. Good. One quick thing, Will, let's just show uh, how we don't want it to look. So if you're in your bridge and you start to lift one leg, yeah, and your belt buckle starts to turn away from the ceiling, we've lost the game. So err on the side of not actually lifting that foot if you can really keep your pelvis level.